Wow, this is really nice. Yep, and it's the last stop on our tour. Here you'll be evaluated by the trainers, the bosses, and your fellow wrestlers. When you're in the gym, all eyes are on you. Oh, sorry, isn't there anyone on the European side we can discuss this with? Ugh, not discus, discuss. So, what do you think? I can't believe I'm actually here. I meant about the tour. Too rushed? I don't mind. I'm anxious to get started. We feel the same way. Sure seems like it. Oh, sorry, one of those days, you know. Listen, I've been the head recruiter here for a few years now, and I can't remember another trainee I've been this excited about. I'm finishing up a tour right now. Frankly, not one of my best. I'll be back in my office in five. Any questions? Uh, just one or two, maybe. Like, I was wondering- Great. I've got to run and deal with this. And you've got the last bit of forms to fill out. Waivers and whatnot. I gave you your training gear, right? No, I didn't. Get started on the forms. I'll be back in a few. When WWE is trying to put smiles on people's faces all over the world, it truly is all hands on deck. I'm walking back to my office now. Walking back to... Wall King... Back to... I thought England was always cloudy and raining. Isn't that like its whole thing? Hold on. All set? All set. Great. Nervous? Don't be. You've got a great look. I think you're going to enjoy your time here. Thanks. I'm just ready to work to make this dream happen. That's the right attitude. Dedication. Focus. Hey, yep, got all that. Go ahead and get changed. The other trainees should be here soon. Everyone meets in the main ring area. Will do. You're going to get a survey on how your first day orientation went. For my job security, it would be great if you could... All fives. It's out of ten. All tens. Maybe one nine, just so it doesn't look fishy. <laughs> Stupid question, but how fast is the fastest boat? That's not that fast. I heard we had another indie wrestler showing up. I guess we have that in common. Let's get this straight. I'm from the indies, but I'm not like you. I trained in Calgary. Wow, a lot of big talent have come from up there. It's the epicenter of wrestling. I competed with the best independent wrestlers in North America, and I've got the scars to prove it. I believe it. I've heard stories about how tough the wrestlers are up there. Oh, and it's nothing compared to here. Training at the PC isn't like anything you've done before. I've been here a month, and my body's more banged up than a two-seater in its fourth demolition derby of the night. You have no idea what you've gotten yourself into. You should know as well as anyone that it doesn't matter where you come from. It's what you do when you get here. I plan on proving I deserve to stay. I've worked too hard for too long to get here to let some tenderfoot steal my spot. After I make it to the big stage and kick your ass out of here, don't come begging me for tickets. Hey, I'm Mei Lee, but everybody calls me Fanny. Nice to... Because my last name is Fan and I'm a WWE super fan. And hopefully someday when I make it to WWE, there'll be Fandemonium. Get it? Sounds good, Fanny. Nice. I am so excited you're here. Really? Wow. I didn't know anyone who would know who I was, much less that I'd have a fan. Well, I'm mostly just happy you're here because I'm tired of being the new girl. I have seen your stuff on the indies, but I'm more into BCW. You ever heard of Buzz? Yeah, I've even seen him wrestle once or twice. 
once or twice. I've seen him wrestle 2,009 times, most of them in person. Wow, that's a lot. He actually put in a good word with management to get me in here. And this has been the best two weeks of my life. Well, maybe not quite as good as the two weeks I camped out for WrestleMania tickets in New Jersey. It was colder, but there were a lot fewer surprise super kicks. You know WrestleMania, right? Yeah, I don't live under a rock. It's only the biggest, greatest, grandest event in the entire universe. It's the crown jewel of sports entertainment. I've been six times, as a fan, obviously, but maybe. I mean, could you imagine Fandemonium in the ring at WrestleMania? Anything can happen in WWE, right? So who knows? Maybe I'll be right there with you. Awesome! Sup, new girl? Welcome to the PC. Thanks. I'm happy to be here. Even though I'm mainly training the men right now, I'm always around if you need any advice. Good to know. One thing I can share with you right now is that in this business, you either have it or you don't. My daddy taught me something a long time ago. You could polish a dog turd all day. At the end of the day, it's still doo-doo. I'm not sure I totally understand. Me neither. Why would anyone even want to polish dog poo? It's disgusting. Anyway, trust your gut, pick your spots, and make sure you don't end up in the D-O-double-G house. Good luck. Woo! <laughs> First off, I'd like to officially welcome our newest recruit to the start of our WWE journey. If you hadn't noticed, there's a lot going on behind the scenes today, so fortunately, I don't have time to go through the big corporate speech that old Vinnie Mac and his pals in HR require me to give every single time a new trainee arrives. So we're going to cut to the chase. Have you met Chase? He used to dress like a giant rib. Huh? Fanny, zip it. Sorry, Mrs. Glamazon. Okay, as you may or may not know, the WWE superstars just finished up a huge European tour. Unfortunately, a big storm hit and now their plane won't make it back in time for Raw in Miami tonight. There are a few superstars who weren't on the tour that are able to make the show. But now Sasha Banks doesn't have an opponent. OMG, the bus! Fanny! Anyway, we heard from Raw GM Mandy Rose that they're scrambling to find someone to take on Sasha. So... That's where one of you comes in. I'm already packed. Let's go. That's great. But we haven't made a decision on which one of you will face Sasha tonight. And in WWE, we like to solve our problems in the ring. There's no decision. It's me. She started hyperventilating the moment Beth walked in. You think she can wrestle on live television in front of the entire WWE universe? I can do it. I'll be fine. Whoa, 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 getting dizzy. I better sit down. Yeah, I'm out. And she hasn't been here long enough to know where the restrooms are. Third door on the right. <sighs> it's second door on the left, but close. Look, we're on a tight schedule. So we need to make a call one way or another. Josie, you've been a bit banged up recently. Are you even up for this match? I can do it. Sasha Banks won't know what hit her. Okay, problem solved. Josie will go face Sasha. Not unless she gets through me first. The decision has already been made. I thought in WWE we solve our problems in the ring. Yeah, most of the time we do. But this is different. We're on a time crunch here. Sean, she's got a point. Okay, okay, fine. You two, get in the ring. When it goes to Raw to face Sasha Banks. And whatever you do, make it quick. I never thought I'd see this happen here tonight. She just started the performance center this morning. This is unheard of. And the boss wants nothing to do with a handshake. She's livid. Sasha Banks is in shock right now. I would be too. Nonetheless, what a moment. 
Like everyone else, I was glued to my TV last night. Congratulations. A really impressive win, especially right out of the gate. Thanks. I'm glad I was able to prove myself. Let's not spend too much time in the afterglow. You still have a long road ahead of you. Time to get back to the grind. I know. I still can't believe I beat Sasha Banks on Raw. But I'm not going to let one match, even a win that big, define my career. I'm here to be the best I can be. Good. Because after what I saw, I'm getting in the ring with you myself. And uh, now? My neck's still a little stiff from last night. <laughs> Nothing a few glam slams can't fix. Come on. Let's find out if you got lucky last night, or if you really are that good. Big news! We just got word that Triple H has decided to hold a PC showcase to scout the talent here. Who do I need to impress? The GMs from all three brands will be here. And all three are bringing a superstar from their brand to give them an extra set of eyes on you. But they won't just be watching. We've been really impressed with how you've been doing down here. So we couldn't think of anyone better to square off against one of the visiting superstars. The GMs also want to see your full presentation, so you'll be in your wrestling gear and everything. Cool. Which superstars will be here? Shotzi Blackheart will be here from NXT, Lacey Evans from SmackDown, or, if you really want a challenge, Sasha Banks specifically requested to be the representative from Raw. All you have to do is figure out who you want to face. Keep in mind, if you can pull off a win over a tougher opponent, you would do more to impress the GMs. Do you even have to ask? You know I'm picking Sasha. I think everyone was hoping you'd say that. She's fired up. Be ready. And there you see the newest addition to NXT's roster making their way into the arena. If you ask me, I think she's going to do big things here. Well, nobody asked you, but I have to agree. She is the definition of superstar. And now it appears an alliance has been formed against Dakota Kai. What does she do to deserve this? It backfires, and Mia Yim is eliminated. Mia Yim is extremely upset. One of these women will advance to the Royal Rumble. Dakota Kai with an opening. She did it. Dakota Kai is headed to the Royal Rumble. This isn't over between these two. So much was on the line in this match, and understandably, frustrations are high. Here they go again. Who needs the Royal Rumble when you have this? Yeah, well, this isn't going to potentially earn them a championship match at WrestleMania. True, but it would help blow off some steam. Can anyone get this under control? Finally, it looks like they've been separated, but I'm sure this isn't the last these two will hear from each other. Mia Yim in this over-the-top rope match. Yeah, it's been heated between these two recently, but maybe it's settled now. From the looks of things, I'm not sure that's going to be the case. It appears Mia Yim is ready to put this all behind her, but she's not. She clearly wants no part of that. Total lack of respect, if you ask me. Candice LeRae. And it looks like she's not finished with Candice. Come on, this is taking things too far. Maybe she just wanted to make even more of a statement. 
Hold on. W what are Carrie and Cross and Scarlet doing out here? Whatever it is, it can't be good. I don't think Johnny Gargano is going to wait to find out. Cross with a doomsday Saito. Gargano absolutely spiked on the arena floor. Look at Cross. He's forcing Johnny Gargano to watch his wife in this perilous situation. She's all alone with these three. And she nails Candace with that hourglass. This is disgusting. A clear message sent to Johnny Gargano and Candace LeRae, courtesy of Cross and Scarlett's new ally, I guess. If this is a sign of things to come, no one in NXT is safe. He certainly didn't do it on his own, but nonetheless, Karrion Cross is the new NXT champion. This was without a doubt an unprecedented championship match that we saw here tonight, with the NXT title being contested in a mixed tag match. It doesn't matter how Karrion Cross won the NXT Championship. All that matters is Doomsday is officially here. Fall and pray to the new most powerful trio in NXT. Irish Whip on the NXT UK Champion. Storm counters. Storm with the roll up. She did it! Tony Storm has successfully defended her NXT UK Women's Championship. What a match! Hold on! From behind! I guess this isn't over after all. She's setting her up. Storm Zero on the champion. She lost the match in the ring. This is pathetic. You go tell her that, Cole. I certainly wouldn't. Is she taking Storm's championship? Now that's pathetic. Maybe she's just going to get it polished for her. I highly doubt that. She's stealing it. Not the kind of hospitality Tony Storm was expecting on her visit to the U.S. We've reached a new low here. I just received some very good news. After what I did to Tony Storm, she's gonna be out for a while. So the way I see it, since I'm the one who took her out, I'm the NXT UK Women's Champion now. That's right, this is mine. And I don't care what anyone, including our washed up British windbag of a GM has to say about it. But I was thinking, since Tony clearly couldn't get the job done with her little open challenge, I'm going to show her how a real champion does it. Anyone who thinks they can take this title from me, come and give it your best shot. You won't beat me. But hey, at least after I'm done with you, Tony will have some company in the trainer's room. So who wants to step up and lose first? I'll be waiting with my championship. Here is your winner, and still the NXT UK Women's Champion, L. And they have now been forever immortalized with their win here in this hellacious ladder match. That's a significant win here tonight over Tony Storm. Yeah, talk about momentum building. Wait, Io Shirai from behind. And Io nails her with a kendo stick. We saw on social media that EO was offended she didn't get a shot at Tony Storm. This must have something to do with that. A bit of payback against Shirai after last week's kendo stick attack. It's Tony Storm. Now Tony is attacking both of them. 
what's going on between these three superstars? There's a lot happening here, but somehow it needs to be settled. Dakota, you've made some pretty serious allegations recently on social media. Because she's making some pretty serious comments, and they need to be addressed. She said, and I quote, the PC was a breeding ground for mediocrity, and I'm embarrassed I had anything to do with that place. Awful. Do you know how many amazing superstars, me included, owe their careers to that place? Normally, I don't spread rumors, but I don't like hearing someone make disparaging comments about a place and the people there who are so important to me. Well, I guess at this point, it's your word against hers. No, it's not. Everyone saw what Finn Balor posted. He can back me up on all of this. I'm just glad she's finally getting exposed for the deceitful, two-faced liar she is. Thank you, Dakota, for uh, clearing that up. There you see Dakota Kai, who just doubled down further on her recent controversial claims. Wait, from behind, the time for rumor and in you. I can't believe this is actually happening, but at least we're finally gonna get some answers. I don't understand why I have to do this. This is humiliating. I'm not the one who spent the last few weeks smearing everyone I've ever met, including legends who've helped me get here. No, you're the one who lied about it. Ladies, please, the truth will be revealed in due time. Now, Dakota, let's begin with some warm-up questions to calibrate our readings. Should be an easy one here. What is your name? Dakota Kai. That is a true statement. Okay, where were you born? Auckland. Can I go now? Another true statement. And uh, no, not yet. Next one. Do you think I'm a good GM? Uh, yes. You've wounded my feelings, but at least we know the machine is properly calibrated. Now, let's get to why we're really here. When you said you overheard your opponent tonight saying the PC is a breeding ground for mediocrity, was that the truth? Yes. Lie. I'm telling the truth. That's also a lie. That machine is faulty. Another lie. I told you. This proves everything. Fine. I made it all up. And then I convinced Finn to lie too. You happy? Is that what you want to hear? Yes. That was the whole point of all of this. She's right. You were in my way and I didn't know what else to do. I deserve all the same opportunities they've given you. Turn that thing off. Yeah, give it a break. I want what you've got. And I'm going to use everything I can to get it. So I took my shot. Maybe this time I went too far. Look, I'm sorry, okay? I should have handled things in the ring rather than making up all those lies and rumors. I hope you can someday forgive me. But for now, how about a truce? I don't know about this. Dakota Kai with a cheap shot. This woman has absolutely no dignity. I think we got official confirmation of that here tonight. Hey, maybe they should have left the lie detector on a little longer. Could have prevented Dakota's opponent from getting smacked in the face. Something tells me this still isn't over between these two. And these two former training partners from the PC are going back and forth in this May Young Classic match. Maley looks to take advantage. Reversal. And the referee gets in the way. Hold on. Here comes Tamina. Out for revenge for losing in the previous round. Tamina's got a kendo stick. And Tamina nails her with the kendo stick. And the referee has no idea. Neither does Fanny, but looks like she's going to capitalize nonetheless. And here goes Maley to the top rope. And down with the frog splash. That could be it. Two, three, 
It's all over. May Lee Fanny Fan has advanced to the finals of the May Young Classic. Fanny is one win away from facing Rhea Ripley for the NXT Women's Championship. Unbelievable. Speaking of that, what a lost opportunity tonight for Fanny's opponent due to Tamina's involvement. You have to assume there's more to come between those two. She's on NXT. What's she even doing here? She's settling a debt from their May Young Classic encounter. Am I concerned? Of her? Come on. She talks a big game, but everyone knows that's all it is. Talk. If this Yobbo is the best competition they can find to face me, I'll be holding the NXT Women's Championship for a very long time. You're not worried about your opponent having any extra motivation she's endured so much already by making it this far down the road to Rhea. she's fighting for a championship she shouldn't need extra motivation and like you said she's already had to win two matches just to get this far even if she was rested she'd be a long shot against me but she's tired and worn down so it's only a matter of time before her road to Rhea ends with a terrible and violent collision. And there you see the NXT Women's Champion Rhea Ripley fresh off her strong statement. Wait, it's the challenger from behind. Now she must not have appreciated what Rhea said. Rhea ducks into the ring post. Here we go. The challenger dodges Rhea's attempt with a kendo stick. This is what I was hoping to see between these two. But this isn't unsanctioned like their last encounter. It should be. And there it is. The referee has thrown out the match. I don't think they care. These two are going to keep fighting until one of them can't continue. All hell is broken loose at NXT TakeOver. William Regal and a horde of referees doing their best to stop him. Good luck. When cooler heads prevail, I think the challenger is going to regret the outcome here tonight. Hey, Rhea Ripley was the first to go for a kendo stick. Either way, this is going to end in a disqualification. Her opponent has a legitimate claim for a rematch. We'll have to see how that shakes out, but at least it looks like the fight between these two is finally under control. Yeah, for now at least. He's had enough. You've sent your message. Come on, stop. And just like that, Rhea Ripley's reign as NXT champion has come to an end, and a new champion is crowned. That's right, what started many weeks ago and got derailed at NXT TakeOver is finally finished here. And how fitting a moment. A title win is always emotional, but there's just something special about doing it on the grandest stage of them all. This road to Rhea and subsequent detour to WrestleMania was certainly unconventional, but none of that matters now. All that's important is NXT has a new flag bearer who looks poised to go on a long and dominant run. I agree, Corey. Whether you approve or disapprove of how she got here, our new NXT Women's Champion has etched her name in history and proven she belongs among the very best. Tegan Knox reverses, setting her up, and she hits a fireman's carry slam. She's going for the pin. She did it. Tegan Knox is your new NXT Women's Champion. Unbelievable. She did it with her feet on the ropes. Are we just going to sit here and ignore that? Clearly, the now former champion isn't happy with the result. Yeah, because like I said, Tegan cheated to get the win. And there you see NXT General Manager William Regal congratulating Tegan Knox on achieving a goal she set her sights on when she returned. This is truly an inspirational comeback story. Inspirational to who? People who take shortcuts to achieve their dreams? I agree, there is some controversy here, but the result is official. Look, I'm not trying to take anything away from Tegan. She's worked hard to return, but I wouldn't take this lying down. Point taken, nonetheless, congrats again to our new NXT Women's Champion.
It's SmackDown's latest acquisition. The blue brand is lucky to have her. I tend to think everyone's replaceable, especially you, Saxton, but this superstar brings something different to the table. She's truly one of a kind. Josie Jane reverses. Looks like Josie's got the upper hand now, trying to do everything she can to make up for losing their first encounter. Wait a second, Josie's locked in an R bar. Will this be it? Will Josie Jane tap? Hold on, her shoulders are on the mat. Josie taps. The referee just counted the pinfall. But Josie might have tapped first. Maybe, but it's Josie who gets the win. I don't think the referee ever saw the tap out. I don't know who's more confused about this outcome, but clearly only one superstar is happy with it. This happens sometimes, Cole. The referee called what he saw. Was it correct? Not really. A hard-fought battle between these two, but you can't fault anyone who's not Josie Jane for coming out of this feeling a bit frustrated and disappointed. Extending this rivalry was absolute genius. Whose idea was that again? That's right, mine. Technically, it was Booker T and John Cena's idea, but sure, way to go. You know, it wouldn't hurt to compliment your boss every now and then. Might earn you some bonus points. Why are we not talking about the fact that she didn't even win? The way that match ended was ridiculous. I won the series 2-0. Josie tapped. End of story. Except it's not. It was a close finish, but you were pinned. So there will be a third match. But since you don't feel like you got a fair shake, I'll make this final match two out of three falls. You can call it a third match. You can call it a best out of five series overall. You can call it whatever you want. But it's happening. Brilliant idea, Adam. How was that? Shut up, Josie. This superstar looks like she's on a mission. Look out, she's attacked from behind. What the heck? What's Lacey Evans doing? We were supposed to have a match with Nikki Cross. It looks like Lacey didn't want to wait to show what she could do at Evolution. tonight at Evolution over WWE Hall of Famer Trish Stratus. A show of sportsmanship and respect for the legend. What an amazing evening we just witnessed. Whoa, Lacey Evans just came out of nowhere. Talk about nasty. This is uncalled for. Apple pie, bald eagles, Lacey Evans, nothing is more American or more deserving. However, the winner of my glorious Stars and Stripes challenge, I can't even bear to utter her name. Someone who our hmm, general manager, for some ungodly reason, has put his faith in here on SmackDown. She thinks she can challenge me for the Women's United States Championship? There is no one more unfit to carry the title. <laughs> Bless her heart. Her patriotism doesn't even come close to mine. When I was born, I was swaddled in the stars and stripes. My first words were not mama or dada, but God bless America. And no one, no one can touch my perfect 45 degree salute. My challenger, she's just a plain old nasty. And I can't wait to prove that to the whole of these United States and the entirety of the WWE Universe. Lacey Evans has been defeated and we have a new Women's United States Champion. This might come off as unprofessional, but who cares? Lacey Evans has been downright annoying since she was awarded the U.S. Championship, and I'm so relieved that she no longer has it. Spoken like a true nasty, Cole. It's WWE Hall of Famer Beth Phoenix looking better than ever. Look out!
And now the 30th and final Royal Rumble entrant joins the fray with only three other women remaining. It's the most valuable position in the Rumble, but will she be able to take advantage of this to secure a spot at WrestleMania? Beth Phoenix! Beth Phoenix is here! And Beth's getting revenge for the attack that we thought was going to keep her out of the Royal Rumble. It looks like Beth is entering the Royal Rumble match. And Beth eliminates Sonya. And out goes Alexa Bliss. The Glamazon is going head to head with Trish Stratus. Who thought we'd ever see this? Trish attempting Stratus faction. Beth Phoenix reverses and eliminates Trish. Is this over? Did Beth Phoenix just win? It looks like there's one more superstar standing between Beth and a championship match at WrestleMania. Now it's just Beth and the woman she trained who then betrayed her. One of these two will go to WrestleMania. There is your Royal Rumble winner, the lone superstar in the WWE Universe, who now is a guaranteed women's championship match at WrestleMania. No matter how you feel about her, she earned this victory and the opportunity that lies ahead for her. It's the SmackDown Women's Champion, Asuka! It looks like the WrestleMania match is made. The Rumble winner has chosen Asuka and the SmackDown Women's Championship. Asuka hits her with the miss. Where did she even come from? Asuka won't part with her championship easily, and if tonight is any indication, all bets are off as we're now officially on the road to WrestleMania. Not the way you want to get started on that road, Cole. No, not at all, but there's a long way to go. A new SmackDown Women's Champion has been crowned at WrestleMania. Our new champion might have had her detractors for some of the things she did to get here tonight, but bottom line, she got the job done when it mattered by defeating Asuka. Taking on and getting the win against the Empress of Tomorrow on the grandest stage of them all is a once-in-a-lifetime achievement, but I have a feeling this isn't the last time she does something like this. No, I think you're right, Corey. We might be looking at one of the most dominant women in WWE, and not just today, but of all time. And now a very special announcement from SmackDown's general manager, Adam Pearce. My guest tonight, who's here to talk about her brand new charity initiative, means so much to past and current women of WWE. She's the winner of the first ever WWE Women's Championship, a seven-time title holder. Someone who made an undeniable mark on everyone she encountered during her time at WWE, myself certainly included. She's always treated me with nothing but kindness and respect. Anyway, that's enough for me. Please welcome WWE legend and Hall of Famer, Trish Stratus. Trish Stratus is an icon in WWE. Trish is truly a trailblazer. So many of today's female superstars credit Trish for inspiring them to compete in WWE. Now she's inspiring everyone to give back through her charitable cause, which I'm sure we'll learn more about in just a few moments. What the hell? You've got to be kidding me. Trish Stratus was just blindsided. Do something, Adam. Come on. King Corbin takes out Adam Pierce. What is happening? End of days on our GM. Was this some kind of coordinated effort between these two? 
That appears to be the case. This has to go down as one of the most sickening acts I've ever seen in WWE. These two should be absolutely ashamed of themselves. I couldn't agree more, Byron. Pathetic. I just hope that Adam Pearce and Trish Stratus are okay. Sonia, you requested this time to comment on the recent attack on Trish Stratus. What did you have to say? Listen, I'm not one to stick my nose in other people's business, but somebody has to say something. And yes, I know I've been ruthless in the past, but an attack on Trish Stratus and Adam Pierce? I wouldn't be here today without Trish. And Adam Pierce is not only a friend, but he's also our GM, whose in-ring days are long behind him. That line you don't cross has absolutely been obliterated, but that's not all. As if the vicious attacks on Trish and Adam weren't enough, I felt like I have to tell the WWE Universe that I've received DMs that prove the only goal of this was to bring chaos and undermine SmackDown as a whole. These attacks have been an attempt at a disgraceful power grab that affects all SmackDown superstars. And that's why I'm speaking up. And that's why I want a match. To stand up for Trish and Adam on behalf of the entire WWE Universe. Is that Maurice? I heard she was back tonight. She needs to watch where she's going. It was an accident. That wasn't. Oh boy, here we go. Welcome back to SmackDown as our women's champion sits down for what should be a very interesting a moment of bliss. Once again, I'd really like to thank you for coming out here tonight. It's my pleasure. Actually, it's your pleasure. But I'm willing to sit here for a few minutes and boost your ratings. You're welcome. Thanks. Anyway, I'm glad you're here because it gives us a chance to bury the hatchet, move forward, and for me to tell you exactly what I think of you. You are nothing but a two-faced, deceitful brat. From day one, you've come in here into my house and acted like you own the place. Like you're entitled to some special treatment, but you're not. And if anyone is, I am because I've put my body on the line countless times and earned anything that comes my way. In fact, I've been here long before you strolled in and I'll be here long after you crawl your way out. And there's the ambush I was waiting for. No ambush, just telling the truth. Then let me hit you with some truth. Your claim to fame is you've been here a while, which I guess sort of makes you an antique. Sounds about right, considering you're so fragile. And by the way, I'm the only reason anyone's watching this. So, I think your few minutes are up. That's fine. People don't want to see you. Not on TV, not backstage, not in the ring, and certainly not holding that title. But you won't be holding it for long. Because the real reason I asked you on my show is to say this. I want... No, I demand, for the sake of the entire WWE Universe, a shot at your SmackDown Women's Championship so I can take it from you and return it to someone who's not an embarrassment to this sport. This interview is over. Well, that went about as well as expected. Wade from behind! The SmackDown Women's Champion just took out Alexa Bliss. And it's not over. Into the Moment of Bliss set. <laughs> you were right about one thing. That was a moment of bliss. <laughs> Whether the SmackDown Women's Champion likes it or not, it looks like she's on a collision course with Alexa Bliss. I think they already collided and Alexa lost. We'll have to see, but it certainly doesn't look good for Alexa. Our SmackDown Women's Champion backed up her talk yet again here tonight against Nikki Cross. Wait, what is she doing? Obviously, she felt she didn't do enough damage in the match, and maybe she's also trying to send a message to Nikki's partner, Alexa Bliss. Oh, come on, you proved your point. That's enough. I'm getting really tired of our champion's behavior. The SmackDown Women's Champion promised to take the only thing Alexa Bliss had left, and apparently this is what she was referring to. Welcome to A Moment of Bliss, a show that, for the first time ever, 
is actually living up to its name. Because tonight, instead of listening to that thirsty, broken-down skank with a stupid name and even dumber fingerless gloves, you get to look at and hear from me. I think we can all agree that tossing Alexa and Nikki aside, literally, was one of my greatest accomplishments. And that is a long list. So, you're welcome for that. But tonight isn't just a one-time thing. I want to announce that I will be taking over a moment of bliss permanently. Just like I've taken over this whole brand. Alexa Bliss is back, and the champion Thank has you. no idea. Exactly the reaction I was expecting. And to all the other women of SmackDown, remember what I did to dumb little Alexa Bliss. So, let that be a warning. I broke Alexa so that I didn't have to break any of you. Alexa Bliss is taking back her show. She's doing more than that. She's sending the SmackDown Women's Champion a strong and clear message that she will not be pushed aside. You think you can come in here and take my spot? My show? You didn't break me. You just gave me the fuel to come back even stronger. I said I was going to take your title and I meant it. But until then, get the hell off my set. Looks like this version of A Moment of Bliss has been canceled after only one episode. Alexa is back and has her sights set on the SmackDown Women's Championship. And based on what we just saw, there's a good chance she'll get it. Here is your winner and the new SmackDown Women's Champion, Now, A victory worthy of a new champion. People are going to be talking about this match for a long time coming. Talking about where they were when the title changed hands. Yeah, and we had the distinct pleasure. Shayna Baszler is going to need a second win if she's going to have a chance in this SmackDown Women's Championship match. A second win or some outside assistance. We heard Baszler had some backup here tonight, and apparently it's Raquel Gonzalez and Kaylee Ray. This trio seems to have our SmackDown Champions number. Not if Josie Jane has anything to say about it. Josie's getting shut down too. It appears Josie's efforts were too little too late. Baszler's got her in the Kirifuda clutch. The champ is fading fast. She's not going to be able to hold on. She did it with a whole lot of help, but nonetheless, Shayna Baszler is your new SmackDown Women's Champion. The Queen of Spades is now the Queen of SmackDown. Sure, there were some outside factors, but Shayna Baszler pretty much called her shot here tonight. And I, for one, don't see anyone taking that championship away from her anytime soon. How much longer is Shayna Baszler going to carry on? Are you going to tell her to stop? Uh, nope. But, before I continue, I just want to say, no disrespect to the former SmackDown Women's Champion, but many people have played a role in my path to dominance. Last week, she just happened to play the part of the woman I got to take the title from. You got your wish, Byron. It's the former champ, and she's not alone, as she's accompanied by Josie Jane. I still would have preferred Saxton interrupting Shayna, but this'll do. I hope you've had a good week playing the part as the SmackDown Women's Champion, because I'm here to get my title back. Except this time, it's going to be a fair fight, because I've got a little surprise. I've brought someone here tonight to even the odds. <laughs> oh boy, wow. So uh, Josie Jane is your big surprise? <laughs> I know you probably missed it, while you were getting choked out, 
but we already took care of her last week. So, not sure how you think this is going to turn out any differently this time. Not to mention, we actually have a real surprise. I've been two steps ahead of you this entire time, and that continues tonight. These two have my back, but I've held championships with this woman, and you'll soon find out she's an irresistible force. It's Nia Jax! These two were in trouble already against Shayna and her crew. Now it just got exponentially worse. I can't remember the last time we saw a group of women as powerful as the one Shayna Baszler has assembled. Shayna really is on top of her game right now from both the physical and tactical standpoint. The former champion and Josie should just turn around and leave now while they can. Wow. Impressive. But Josie wasn't my surprise. This is... Nia just nailed Shayna Baszler. It's not four on two, it's three on three. Nia wasn't part of Shayna's crew after all. So a drop. The balance of power has suddenly shifted toward the former champ and her crew of Josie Jane and Nia Jax. Shayna said she was two steps ahead, but apparently her adversary was three steps ahead. I can't believe what we just saw, but as a result, the SmackDown Women's Championship picture looks entirely different than it did just minutes ago. Here is your winner and the new SmackDown Women's Champion. A night and title change we will all remember for a very long time. We really are looking at a new era, Cole. Soak it in. Look who it is, the newest superstar to join Monday Night Raw. I wish you'd get that excited when I walk into a building. Byron's excitement is warranted. She's going to do big things here on Raw. Nia saw it coming. And is Nia going for it? She is. One of her cousin's signature moves, the rock bottom. This has to be the end of this match. Apparently, Nia's not done yet. What is she trying to prove here? She just put her hands on the referee. That's an automatic disqualification. I don't think her mindset's on winning the match anymore. Nia Jax is clearly trying to prove a point. And with that rock bottom, it seems very clear who she's trying to prove herself to. How much more punishment can her opponent take? All for Nia Jax's delicate ego? She's, and no, not, no, don't do it, Nia. Come on. Samoan drop to the floor. Guys, she might be badly injured. Now one thing's for certain, that message Nia Jax sent tonight was heard loud and clear and won't be forgotten anytime soon. Glad to see you up and around. We've been worried about you. Up and around, but still sore and bruised. I gotta be real. Naya did a number on me. This sounds cliche, especially coming from me. But it looks like maybe you've lost your smile. It happens to the best of us. There's no getting around it. It was a vicious attack. That kind of thing can take a toll, both physically and mentally. Well, like I said, I still have a long way to go before I'm fully cleared. And it seems like when I am, Naya's not going to back down. I think you're right about Naya. You're going to have to be ready to face her again, and that's going to take a lot of work. So it looks like you have a big decision ahead of you. I know what it's like firsthand to have to recover and train to get back in the game. And I watched Edge go through it, too. And I also know what it's like to walk away, so I totally respect that choice, too. Sometimes it's best to step back for a bit before coming back stronger than ever. 
So with all that being said, how are you feeling? Do you want to train to face Nia again? Take a step back and walk away from the fight for a bit. I'm not here to back down from a fight. I'm here to show the world and the WWE Universe what I'm made of. I know it's going to be a hard road back, but let's do this. Let's train. I'm ready. I would have supported you no matter what, but I'm proud that you chose to take on Naya. Same here. Honestly, it was the only choice I could have made. It's going to be tough, but that's who I am. The good news is, you won't be doing this alone. I'm going to be with you every step of the way. All right, no more talk. Let's get you back in the ring. I'll be your first opponent. Try to beat me before the time limit expires. Another dominating win for Nia Jax has been on quite the tear recently here on Raw. Hold on, is that who I think it is? And she's back. She's taking it to Nia Jax. But Nia's giving it right back to her. Nia charges, and she goes head first over the ropes. Nia took her out with that vicious Samoan drop to the outside, and she's been out injured ever since. Finally, this is her chance for revenge. She's got a table. With the table, ramming it into Nia's face. That's one way to get payback. I don't think she's finished. It looks like she's going to attempt to put Nia through the table. I know she's out for revenge, but she has to be smart. She could end up re-injuring herself in the process. After what Nia did to her, I don't think she cares. Up to the apron, the same apron that Nia Jack slammed her off of, putting her on the shelf. And down with a splash through the table. Unbelievable. It looks like that took a toll on her, too. Yeah, but she's the one standing tall, and Nia isn't. It looks like she's got the boss where she wants her. It's Bailey. Good news for Sasha, but always bad news for her opponent. The referee missed the pin. Bailey's got something in her hand. It's Sasha's legit boss rings. Sasha delivers a blow with the ring. And now for the pin. This match is over. I'm sick of these two constantly bailing each other out. Like it or not, the referee didn't see anything illegal, and Sasha Banks is the winner, finally avenging the loss that helped launch her opponent's career. If anything, they're even, but their issue is far from settled. She will now face Charlotte to crown the first ever queen of the ring. Wait, Charlotte's here right now? And she's taken out Bianca and her threat to the crown. Looks like she might have twisted her knee there a little bit. Is this how a queen behaves, Charlotte? Really? Come on. Just asserting her dominance. That's all. There she is, your first ever queen of the ring. She wasn't 100% after Charlotte's attack and yet still managed to win the crown here tonight. Just a gutsy performance overall. And this has to be a major blow to Charlotte's ego. The self-proclaimed queen now has to share the title with someone who beat her for it in the middle of the ring. Charlotte's feelings aside, what a night for our new queen of the ring. Continental champion. Plus, she's the first ever champion to win this title in the ring. What do you mean? Bailey won it in a tournament in Rio de Janeiro. Come on, we all know Bailey made that up, but enough about her. Congrats to our new women's intercontinental champion. As the new women's intercontinental champion and the first superstar who actually won it, I'll be sure to do you proud, Mandy. I'm sure you will. Not so fast, ladies. What makes you think you're the Intercontinental Champion? I must have hit you harder out there than I thought. The match I just won, for starters. Oh, you won the match. But I guess you didn't read the fine print in the contract you signed before the match. 
It's an intercontinental championship, you dummy. Which means that, just like the contract says, you have to beat three international superstars before beating me. Sorry, but I don't make the rules. What are you talking about? You made up this title in the first place, so you definitely made the rules. Mandy, tell her I'm champion. I actually have to side with Bailey on this one. She may have made this title up, but I made it official. And it was in the contract you signed. Superstars actually have to start reading those. To be fair, she probably doesn't even know how to read. Do you want me to read or fight? Is it so hard to do both? Geez, just beat three international superstars and then we'll talk. I'll make sure you get your opportunity with Bailey. And don't sass your GM. Yeah, and work on your reading skills. Our women's intercontinental champion, Bailey, is apparently throwing herself some sort of celebration. The WWE Universe is not enthused. Today is a day that will surely be mentioned in all the effusive speeches when I, Bailey, am inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame because in just a few short moments, down to the exact minute when I first won this little beauty here, I will become the longest reigning intercontinental champion, not for the women, not for the men, but for all of WWE for all time. You idiots said I couldn't do it, but you know who never doubted me? Me! So let's join in and count down to the moment of my glory. It's only 20 minutes to go. You gotta be kidding me. I'm gonna be back in about 19 minutes. 1959, 1958, 1957, 1956, 1955, 1954. Come on, I can't hear you. 1950, 1949, 1948, 1947. Yes, thank you. I don't think I could have made it through that. No one could. It is a momentous day but not because you're going to break any records. Guess whose waiting period just ended? And that's fitting, because tonight is going to be a night of endings. Your intercontinental title reign is ending too. Right here, right now. We're going to have a women's intercontinental championship match coming up next. Finally, after jumping through countless hoops and waiting over a year, this could be the night that she takes Bailey's title. If it means not having to sit through one of these celebrations, I'm all for it. Here is your winner and still women's intercontinental champion, L. And what a ladder match that was. To be the winner of that match, to be the one that successfully climbed the ladder, well, that is more than cause for celebration. A night and title change we will all remember for a very long time. I thought the defending champion had this well in hand, but the new champ had other plans. It just goes to show you anything can happen in WWE. Intercontinental Champion, L. And a new chapter in this title's legacy begins here. What a stunning moment. These superstars gave everything they had, but the new champ wanted it just a little bit more. The Women's Intercontinental Champion looks like she's well on her way to beating Bianca's established time. Speaking of Bianca, here she comes. Oh, come on, this isn't fair. Carmella's recovering. Carmella with the roll up for the pin. And she pulls it off. Carmella just defeated the Women's Intercontinental Champion. So much for beating Bianca's time, she couldn't even beat Mella. Yeah, because Bianca Belair came down here and interfered. You're leaving that part out. The IC Champion is now the EST of Raw. 
as in the angriest. Just stop, Cole. The Women's Intercontinental Champion is ambushing Bianca Belair before their scheduled match. I don't think Bianca Belair is going to make it to the ring after this beatdown. Here is your winner and still Women's Intercontinental Champion, L. Broken, beaten, and scarred. But there is your winner. And that's about as conclusive a win as you can get in the cage. With a win like that, you have to stand back for a moment and realize all your hard work paid off. She did it! She managed to outlast five other superstars to win the Money in the Bank ladder match. And now she has that coveted briefcase in her possession. Now the real questions begin. When and how will she cash it in? There's plenty of time to worry about all that later. For now, soak it in, because this is a tremendous achievement in itself. Enjoy the moment, Ms. Money in the Bank. You earned it. The ultimate reward is worth all the risks. It really was an incredible battle for that career-altering briefcase. The Money in the Bank briefcase winner seems more confident than ever. But let's talk about how I got here tonight. After years of hard work climbing an imaginary ladder, I finally found myself on a real one. And as I climbed to the top of it and beat five other superstars to win this Money in the Bank briefcase, suddenly I knew there was only one person left standing between me and the Raw Women's Championship. And believe me when I say this, I am ready to take down who The brand new briefcase holder mentioned the Raw Women's Champion and here she is. Naomi is on her way to the ring to confront her face to face. This could get very interesting. Who knows, we could even have a championship match right now. Take it easy, Byron. Let's see how this all plays out. One person left. Girl, if you want to call me out, you can just say my name. As much as I appreciate the long, emotional story of your journey here in WWE, I gotta ask. Do you want a participation trophy or something? I mean, do you think you're the only one here who's had ups and downs or a difficult road as a WWE superstar? And you know what? You conveniently forgot a little something from your testimonial. If I'm remembering correctly, it was only because someone's flight was delayed that you got the opportunity to debut on Raw in the first place, in a match. That was supposed to be mine. So at least, if you're going to tell the WWE Universe your whole drawn-out story, you might as well say thank you, Naomi. <laughs> so you want me to thank you for inclement weather? Sure. Why not? Well, thank you, Naomi, for channeling the wind and rain. But while your absence that night might have given me an opportunity, I was the one who took advantage of it. Just like I'm going to take advantage of this opportunity now. Hmm, what to do with the money in the bank contract? Cash it in and set up a match? Or maybe use it when you least expect it as a fun surprise. You know, I can't say I've decided how that part of my story will play out. Either way, whatever you choose to do, you know I'm going to be ready. We're not sure how it will transpire, but sooner or later, these two will face each other for the Raw Women's Championship. I think she knows exactly how and when she's going to cash in. But the rest of us, including Naomi, will have to wait to find out. 
Another successful title defense for our Raw Women's Champion, Naomi. Yeah, she looked really strong out here tonight. At this rate, I'm not sure anyone could stop her momentum. You hear about athletes being in the zone, and it's as if she's in the zone permanently. Oh, look out! It's the Money in the Bank briefcase holder. She's cashing in. Here we go. We're going to have an impromptu Raw Women's Championship match. And Naomi's out of it. Wait, is that Charlotte? What's she doing here? She interrupted the cash-in. Now what? It looks like Naomi's going to hold on to her championship. Yeah, for tonight at least, because now she has to deal with Charlotte too. is without a doubt a crowning yeah. moment tonight in her career to take the title away from a formidable opponent in Naomi at an event like SummerSlam really solidifies her status as one of the top superstars in WWE. It started with winning the Money in the Bank briefcase and there were some bumps along the way but none of that matters now. The takeaway here is she is now the standard of the Raw Women's Division and I think it's going to stay that way for quite some time. I still can't believe it. There you see our new champion. This could be it. Wait, it's Natalia. She just broke up the pin and the match is thrown out. What was that all about? Not sure, but it's not just Natty. Here comes Nia Jax and Tamina. And now they're attacking the Raw Women's Champion. Is this some kind of alliance between the three? Did you say three? I think you meant four. It's Charlotte Flair. This is a premeditated assault. And if I had a guess, you're looking at the person who's behind it. Oh. Did I miss up your little title opportunity, Bianca? I'm so sorry. But it was a sham of a match to begin with. Not to mention a sham of a champion. Because you know who deserves the Raw Women's title? No one. Except me. And I'm going to get it with the help of my new powerful group. I believe you've met them already. We call ourselves the Four Queens because that's what we are. The royalty of WWE. We were born into greatness. It's in our blood. And it's also everything you are not. Which, annoyingly enough, it's something I've tried to prove before, but somehow you're still the one standing in the way of what I want. But you know what they say? Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, well, let's just say I won't be making any mistakes this time. And Charlotte's going for the knee with the chair. She's not out to prove a point. She's trying to injure the Raw Women's Champion. Someone, anyone needs to come out here and help her. It's four on one. It's about to get much worse. And off the second rope with a steel chair, driving it into the champion's knee yet again. She could have a serious knee injury. This is no exaggeration when I say this. The landscape of the Raw Women's Division has just shifted. The four queens are going to dominate anyone who gets in their way. Unfortunately for our Raw Women's Champion, she was the first to get in their way here tonight. Looking to tag in Liv. What was that all about? I don't know, but Liv Morgan appears to be leaving. So this is a handicap match now? I guess so. Liv, you just walked out of your tag match, turning your back on your partner. What was that all about? She told me she was going to help me find a direction. And she wasn't wrong. I found it. My direction is to kick her ass. Hold on, Natalia's attack from behind. Her opponent called Natty a stepping stone, and it looks like she didn't want to wait to step all over her. Huge victory tonight for her on Raw. Wait, that's Natalia's music. Here we go. 
She's in the ring. Nails her with a clothesline. Score one for the veteran. Not looking like a stepping stone now, is she? That was a dominating win for our Raw Women's Champion. Always a pleasure watching her compete. Now it looks like we're going to get the pleasure of hearing her speak. You know, I have to admit, although I had a fantastic time beating Carmella and showing her who the real untouchable one is, that match was really for the benefit of someone else. Becky Lynch, I hope you were watching because that was a message to you. Her return has been rumored for months and finally Becky Lynch is here. Soak it in, WWE Universe. The man has returned to Monday nights. Look at this. The man is back on Raw. It seems like the man is experiencing technical difficulties. Maybe not. Aw, Becky. Cat got your tongue? Oh, wait. That's right. I told production to cut your mic. It's just that all that time you were gone, well, let's just say not hearing your voice was incredible. So I thought, wouldn't it be nice to keep it that way? <laughs> and boy, oh boy, was I right. You see, Becky, things have changed since you've been gone. As GM of Raw, I'm the man now. So you can either fall in line or turn around and go right back out the door. Not quite the warm welcome back that Becky was expecting. And Becky tags the Raw Women's Champion. And now she's got her in the disarm her for good measure. Manny's new edict may be shocking, but Becky Lynch's response is not. We may have heard the last of the man for now, but it's clear that this is far from over. After our GM went out of her way to censor Becky Lynch, I was approached by Becky about being her official spokesman. I was skeptical at first, but as I considered it, one thing became crystal clear. Mandy Rose is out of control as a Raw GM. Her power must be checked. And if teaming up with Becky grants me the opportunity to take on our just as corrupt Raw Women's Champion, I'll gladly be Becky's mouthpiece. What, are you gonna ban me from speaking to Mandy? You can make all the arbitrary rules you want, but tonight, you and your lapdog of a champion will face Becky and me in the ring. You may have stopped what Becky can do outside of a match, but nothing can stop her when the bell rings. Here are your winners, Elle and Mandy Rose. Making their case for one of the best teams around with that win. No frills, no gimmicks, just old school tag team excellence to get the victory. This could be it for Becky Lynch facing long odds against these two women who have taken her voice away on Raw. Becky's not going quietly after all, as those odds have suddenly evened themselves out. Lynch with a Beck exploder on our general manager. And Lynch quickly follows up with a disarm her. Can Mandy hold on? She can't. Becky Lynch overcomes the odds in this two-on-one match. It seems that no matter what these two try to do, that nothing is going to stop Becky Lynch. That's exactly why she's the man, Michael. And we are so lucky that she's back. Take it easy, Saxton. She's spoken for. Wow, wiping that smug look right off her face. Raw 
Women's Champion, Becky Lynch. I still can't believe it. There you see our new champion. What a stunning moment. These superstars gave everything they had, but the new champ wanted it just a little bit more.